All right, guys, so I like to tell you some good things from time to time, but unfortunately, there are some bad things that need shared as well. So I had a female, uh, she laid about 45 days ago, four infertile eggs. And, uh, you know, she didn't look like she was still in labor. She looked like she knocked them out just because they were a pain. They were a bother. Um, so I didn't really think anything of it. I tried getting the uh, the rest of the eggs out. They were well attached. So I was like, all right, you know what? Maybe, maybe she's doing some weird thing where she's kicking out the infertile eggs just so that she could focus on the fertile eggs. And uh, let her be. And here we are 45 days later. I'm like, well, she should have had her eggs by now. Um, so she didn't. So I started feeling the eggs again. And sure enough, they're, they were lumpy. You know, you, signs of rotting. Uh, and as you know, you can't have rotten, rotten eggs inside of a female. Um, it'll lead to infection and problems for the animal in the foreseeable future, possibly even death. So um, at this point, I determined she was, she was definitely egg bound. Um, the way they were situated in the body, this was closest to the head, this one was next in line, and this smaller one here was uh, down near the, the cloaca, um, about two inches, three inches away from the cloaca, so I have figured, you know, that small one over there, she should be able to pass out without a problem. Well, um, I decided today I was going to take matters into my own hands, um, and that's exactly what I did. I watched some videos on how to clear an egg-bound female. I watched for in case it was a twisted oviduct, which this female had produced for me three years in a row in the past and never a problem. So I figured what would be the problem this time around. Uh, just must be a larger than normal egg stuck in her. Let's clear it out and uh, get her on the road to recovery. Maybe the eggs can be saved, maybe not. Oh well. Um, either way, I get to keep, you know, I, get, I have my breeder female and I'm saving her life. So... Long story short, I started, uh, did exactly as the videos had instructed, and the egg over here on the right started making its way down um, the egg tube, and we were getting ready to, uh, it was just getting ready to crest, and all of a sudden, um, you know, I was, look, I was looking for, for where it should be coming out of, there was no opening, uh, I was down by the cloaca, obviously, uh, there was no opening, so I uh, pushed a little harder, uh, and I had my probe in there, trying to probe around. And I guess I created a hole. I'm not entirely sure how it happened, uh, but I saw a little opening that was expanding and expanding. I said, okay, good, I found the hole. Now the egg's gonna come out. And uh, the, girl, the egg on the right came out first. Uh, and at that time, I realized I had to get the second egg out started moving the second egg out and uh, you know she was still she was still gaping uh, so I figured it would be a pretty pretty quick pass and it was and then uh, the third egg this really big one here was on its way out and it just came out and slingshotted uh, this big egg was supposed to be based on how the egg tube looked when it came out this egg to the egg tube came flying out with this egg um, when, and you know we were we were sliding down real nice and uh, the whole the whole leg tube just came came out when this guy came out and that was that um, lo and behold the second egg was still in the egg tube the first egg was completely clear of the egg tube at this point um, and then the egg tube detached from the female um, Again, like I said, all I did was apply a little pressure uh, to that second egg, and then this third egg was, you know, just came, just came soaring out of the body. Um, I'm sure the female was helping me push, uh, but anyway, at the end of the day, what happened? Here's the egg tube that all the eggs were in, and inside the body, the egg tube had done this, and it had lassoed so this egg was actually the next one that should have came out this one should have came out first followed by this one and then this one should have been at the back the egg tube by my diagnosis was already detached and this egg 
obviously none of these eggs are salvageable. Um, but now my snake has lost an egg tube um, as a result. If I took it to the emergency room, took it to the vet, we would have had the same result. The vet would have had to cut out the egg tube. We would have, the snake would have undergone surgery. Um, and we would have come to the same conclusion that uh, the egg tube was, had either moved in a circle, had lassoed itself. Um, somehow this, this egg, which was, should have been the next one out, uh, was way up into the body cavity. And this was actually the last one to come out. Um, there's nothing I could have done. There's nothing I could have seen. Uh, you know, the snake couldn't tell me what was wrong. Uh, just a just a sad story all the way around. The female's doing fine right now. Um, obviously, this just happened. I've got her uh, sitting on some medicine, and she'll be. She'll be going to the vet uh, if things don't progress accordingly. And, I mean, obviously this egg tube sacrifice. We're never going to get that back in her. Uh, but I want her to heal up correctly. She's not getting any food, obviously. She's not going to be breeding next year. Uh, I just, I just want to let everybody know when you do it yourself, sometimes things do go wrong. And this is my story of something that went wrong. Um, you know when you're contemplating whether you should do it yourself or go to the vet definitely uh, think it through uh, I would love to have happier news for you guys um, but I've seen so many of these videos where everything the do it yourselves just go extremely right um, and you know no one ever tells you what could go wrong well this is an example a shining example sad example of what could go wrong um, and here we have a female that experienced quite a bit of pain um, I'm sure of it. Uh, she's got comfort now that these eggs are out of her, but I'm sure she experienced pain when that tube detached. She experienced discomfort while she was holding on to these eggs. Um, and you know, this, this was my, this is my go at it. So she was experiencing pain while I was trying to help get these eggs out of her as well. So I just want everybody to be, be aware of what's going on. Um, from the learning end of things, this is the egg tube. And the, the pictures I took, you could see it was kind of knotted. Um, and every one of these bubbles is where the eggs were. One there, one there, one there. And then here is where everything was all twisted up like this when I saw it. Um, and then here's where the egg actually came out of. Um, so this is the hole that ended up getting ripped into it. I mean, it's it's horrendous, but we got to learn from our mistakes, and we gotta we gotta know what we're looking at when we look at it. Um, for the record, you know, these eggs are about 100 grams. This guy was 160, so this thing was huge. How it got up back into the body so high up, I have no idea. Uh, how how this thing ended up turning the way it did, I, I, the whole thing it just it just doesn't make sense to me. Um, but I mean, I guess, I guess that's part of the reason for this video. If anybody's got any real answers aside from this getting knotted up, I, I don't understand how this egg could have got all the way from being the next in line to be delivered to the last in the sequence from what I could see from the outside. So anyway, that's my tale of woe. Um, yeah, so she's still got another egg tube in her, hopefully uh, when she does breed again, if she does breed again, uh, that egg tube is the one that's been giving me the, the healthy eggs without any problems over these years, so, um, you know, that seems like that's going to be what she's going to be using from now on if she does breed at all. Um, I'll evaluate that, obviously, at a later date, a um, little, little shaken right now, so... Sorry guys, sorry for the bad news, but I hope we can all learn from it.